In this video, you'll learn how to combine functions using all four operations. Like numbers, functions can be combined using operations. To combine functions, first substitute the given expressions for each function, then perform the operation and simplify. For addition and subtraction, be sure to combine like terms only. For multiplication, remember to distribute and then combine like terms. For division, one way to perform the operation is to factor the numerator and denominator, if possible, and then cancel common factors. Let's look at an example. Consider the functions f of x equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 12 and g of x equals 2x minus 1. Determine f of x plus g of x f of x minus g of x, and f of x times g of x. First, let's determine f of x plus g of x. Substituting the given expressions for f of x and g of x results in 3x squared minus 4x plus 12 plus 2x minus 1. Now we need to combine like terms. 3x squared cannot be combined with any other term. Negative 4x plus 2x is negative 2x, and 12 plus negative 1 is 11. So f of x plus g of x is 3x squared minus 2x plus 11. Now let's determine f of x minus g of x. Substituting the given expression in for f of x and g of x results in 3x squared minus 4x plus 12 minus the quantity 2x minus 1. Distributing the negative results in 3x squared minus 4x plus 12 minus 2x plus 1. Now we need to combine like terms. 3x squared cannot be combined with any other term. Negative 4x plus negative 2x is negative 6x. And 12 plus 1 is 13. So f of x minus g of x is 3x squared minus 6x plus 13. Finally, let's determine f of x times g of x. Substituting the given expression in for f of x and g of x results in the quantity 3x squared minus 4x plus 12 times the quantity 2x minus 1. Performing multiplication requires the distributive property. Distributing 3x squared to 2x minus 1 gives 6x cubed minus 3x squared. Distributing negative 4x to 2x minus 1 gives negative 8x squared plus 4x. And distributing 12 to 2x minus 1 gives 24x minus 12. Now we can combine like terms. 6x cubed cannot be combined with any other term. Combining negative 3x squared and negative 8x squared gives negative 11x squared. Combining 4x with 24x gives 28x. And negative 12 cannot be combined with any other term. So f of x times g of x is 6x cubed minus 11x squared plus 28x minus 12. Let's look at another example. Consider the functions f of x equals 2x squared minus 11x plus 5, g of x equals x minus 5, and h of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 8. Select all correct equations. We'll start with the first equation. Let's determine g of x plus h of x and see if it matches what is given. Substituting the given expression in for g of x and h of x results in x minus 5 plus x squared plus 3x minus 8. Now we need to combine like terms. x squared cannot be combined with any other term. x plus 3x is 4x, and negative 5 plus negative 8 is negative 13. So g of x plus h of x is x squared plus 4x minus 13. This matches what is given in the answer choice. Let's proceed to the second equation. Substituting the given expression in for f of x and g of x results in the quantity 2x squared minus 11x plus 5 minus the quantity 
x minus 5. Distributing the negative results in 2x squared minus 11x plus 5 minus x plus 5. Now we need to combine like terms. 2x squared cannot be combined with any other term. Combining negative 11x and negative x gives negative 12x, and combining 5 and 5 gives 10. So f of x minus g of x is 2x squared minus 12x plus 10. This is different from what is given in the answer choice. Let's look at the third equation. Substituting the given expression in for h of x and f of x results in the quantity x squared plus 3x minus 8 minus the quantity 2x squared minus 11x plus 5. Distributing the negative results in x squared plus 3x minus 8 minus 2x squared plus 11x minus 5. Now we can combine like terms. Combining x squared and negative 2x squared gives negative x squared. Combining 3x and 11x gives 14x, and combining negative 8 and negative 5 gives negative 13. So h of x minus f of x is negative x squared plus 14x minus 13. This is different from what is given in the answer choice. Let's look at the fourth equation. Substituting the given expression in for g of x and h of x results in the quantity x minus 5 times the quantity x squared plus 3x minus 8. Performing multiplication requires a distributive property. Distributing x to x squared plus 3x minus 8 gives x cubed plus 3x squared minus 8x. And distributing negative 5 to x squared plus 3x minus 8 gives negative 5x squared minus 15x plus 40. Now we need to combine like terms. x cubed cannot be combined with any other term. Combining 3x squared with negative 5x squared gives negative 2x squared. Combining negative 8x with negative 15x gives negative 23x. And 40 cannot be combined with any other term. So g of x times h of x is x cubed minus 2x squared minus 23x plus 40. This matches what is given in the answer choice. Now let's look at the last equation. Substituting the given expression in for f of x and g of x results in the quantity 2x squared minus 11x plus 5 divided by the quantity x minus 5. The expression in the numerator can be factored as the quantity 2x minus 1 times the quantity x minus 5. Both the numerator and the denominator have the factor x minus 5. They can be canceled out, resulting in 2x minus 1. The original expression is undefined when x equals 5. This means that the expression 2x minus 1 also has a domain restriction of x not equal to 5. This matches what is given in the answer choice. Now you know how to combine functions using all four operations. Thanks for watching.